Good afternoon, everybody. It is Jeannie Fisher, a certified financial planner and senior 401k advisor with Argy. And I, for one, am ready for some fun in the sun. But before I left the office to celebrate the 4th of July in our nation's independence, I thought it was a great time to talk about a financial movement that has been sweeping the nation called the FIRE movement. Now, the FIRE movement actually originated in a book written a couple of decades ago by Vicki Robin and Joe Dominguez titled, Your Money or Your Life. But it really started to catch, well, fire when some big bloggers and big podcasts picked up the idea. So Mr. Money Mustache is an example, the Retire by 40 podcast, and really you break down the FIRE movement into two parts financially independence or financial independence retire early. And it really has resonated with our younger generations. You'll notice that we like to be flexible, we like to be adaptable, we don't wanna be tied down and we want our independence. You can see that in how the younger generations don't really purchase homes as much as they used to. We like to be able to move. So this idea that we can be independent ourselves at a very young age and have the whole world of opportunity open to us is really enticing. Now, how do you become financially independent? What is financial independence? Well, it's the idea that you can make major life decisions free from financial constraints. So you can choose your job, you can choose where you live, you can enter a relationship or leave a relationship all without having to consider the finances because all of those things set aside, you have created a nest egg of passive income that is basically funding your lifestyle, at least in a way where you can make decisions without really having to consider the financial side. Now again, very attractive to the younger generations, and I for one am happy to see a movement like this in a time where so many of us live paycheck to paycheck and actually struggle to make ends meet. Now, you can adjust the equation either way. You can make more money or you could spend less, and not many people have a whole lot of control over how much money they make. So those who follow the FIRE movement actually really focus on the expense side, and some of them save almost half of their income. Now again, a movement like this is definitely something I can get behind, but one of the things I always share with clients is, just like we need to save and invest in tomorrow, we need to invest in today. We need to invest in life experiences. We need to invest in our relationships because if we set aside everything today for a tomorrow, we are not guaranteed that tomorrow. So think about it this weekend as we celebrate our nation's independence. Are you financially independent? Are you on your way to be financially independent? And if not, what steps can you start taking now to get to that level? I hope that you all have a wonderful 4th of July and we'll talk to you soon.